I'm back with another video and today I'm going to share some cards that I've made. Um, this is part of my series on the uh, kit rescue uh, series that I'm doing where I showed you all the different kits that I've purchased through the past several years that I haven't had a chance to do and I'm slowly making my way through them as I'm doing the whole social distancing and uh, staying at home. So. I'll get started. Uh, so this first kit made, uh, I think, five cards. And I believe this paper, I want to say is Cartabella, but I'm not positive. Uh, so yeah, here's the first card. So just layered up a bunch of different die cuts and cut some strips of paper. And there's nothing on the insides. So I'll probably have to go back and layer these with uh, white paper because it's kind of hard to write on black paper unless... Uh, use a gel pen. This one, um, I believe this was a like a cut apart or a piece of six by six paper that I cut the scene out and then just layered the different die cuts. This one I thought was really cute. I might go back and add some bling to these that it didn't include bling with any of it, but I think I always think bling looks good on cards. This one here I believe was a cut apart and I cut it down and then just Layer the die cuts. Oh, this one here, just layered a bunch of paper and then die cuts again. This one I thought was kind of cute. It's a uh, like a uh, what do you call that? Almost like a globe, snow globe. So that's the first uh, kit. So that's one kit down. This one I believe. I think this is, I want to say Kaiser Craft Paper. And so this was another card kit. Again, just layering die cuts and papers. Some ribbon. This one I thought turned out really pretty. Made some banners and layered some die cuts. And then this one here is just a simple strip of paper and then I cut out a tag and then layered a die cut. This one I thought was really pretty as well. A bunch of little trees and a joyful um, die cut. And this is a bigger card. And yeah. I found the instructions for um, those two kits there were really shitty. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was like some of the instructions didn't even correspond to the papers that were that I was given, so I kind of had to wing it, but I made it work. And so this next kit, um, these next two kits are from the same designer. She designed both kits, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what the paper line is in this one. I want to say Echo Park, but i um, not sure. Really, she does really cute kits, but um, that's the first one. This one's a little bag and we put a little tag in there and then layered some die cuts and added some sparkly um, ribbon trim. This one I thought was really cute. Just layered some die cuts on a tag and cut some pattern papers. This one we use another little bag. This one was white and um, added some stickers and die cuts. This one I thought was really cute. It's just a bunch of banners and then some ribbon across it and then a layered a sticker. 3D'd it. Added a little bit of um, pearls. Oh, this one was really pretty too. A big tag that we put like in a vellum pocket and layered some die cuts. So that's that kit. And then this next kit, um, I believe, is from Kaiser Craft as well, and it's a bunch of different butterfly cards. I thought these were really pretty. So this was a, an image that she stamped, I believe, and then we just had to fussy cut it out. 
And then she pre-printed a bunch of vellum little sentiments and we just had to make them into flags, cut them out and make them into little banners. This one we fussy cut out the butterflies and there's a little tag and then some ribbon and then layered the sentiment on a, another little banner. This one here I thought turned out really cute. Just made a bunch of different banners. There's a little bag here, some seam binding, and then we fussy cut the butterflies out. Those were a bit hard to fussy cut out, but um, they turned out really cute. And then we just wound up some twine in the back there. And she does really good instructions, this instructor. There was no guessing on what she meant with anything. This one here, we made a tag, added a, a reinforcement, and then uh, fussy cut some more butterflies. This one I believe she stamped out and added some bling. This one is really cute too. She's um, stamped some different butterflies in this little postage kind of mark stamp and then did some more flags and twine there and added some bling. And everything was included so didn't have to, you know, add anything except my adhesive. And then this one's really cute as well. Made some more tags and some more of those stamped images, a little stamped butterfly, and then one that we fussy cut out, and then have this little bag, and then this was already punched, um, edge punched this paper. So yeah, those are my uh, card kits that I've uh, completed from my kit rescue, from our kit rescue series, and um, that's it for today. And thanks everyone for watching. And I apologize for my nails, but um, there's no nail salons open and I don't know how to do nails and these are gel nails and I don't even know how to get this off on my own. So it's just slowly coming off. So I do apologize for my nails, but there's not much I can do about it. So until next time, take care and bye for now. Mm -hmm.